top 10 things that will make you smarter every day. I think we can all agree that being intelligent is great, but it doesn't happen overnight or without effort. If you want to become smarter, you must develop habits that will cultivate your intelligence and feed your mind. Whether you want to advance in your career, acquire a new skill, or simply perform better in all aspects of life, enhanced intellectual ability could be the key. And here's the good news. Everyone is capable of learning how to become smarter. But in today's hectic world, what are some quick and easy ways to improve your intelligence? In this video, we'll go over the top 10 habits that can increase your mental horsepower and make you smarter. Now, let's get right into the video. Number one, be wiser about your online time. Let's face it, it is not necessary to spend your every online break scrolling through social media and viewing funny cat videos. The internet also provides a wealth of excellent educational resources such as online courses, fascinating TED Talks, and tools for expanding one's vocabulary. You can replace at least some of the mindless scrolling with something more intellectually stimulating or spiritually rewarding. If you're intentional about keeping your online scrolling to a minimum, you will notice a visible change in your mental health. Your mind will be free from clutter and your thoughts will be more organized. Even though technology has made our lives better, we can't deny that relying too much on it hurts our ability to think critically, learn from experience, and do simple tasks like basic math and find our way around. Your brain is just like any muscle in your body. If you don't use it, you'll lose it. In addition to changing your online consumption habits, you can try traveling without a GPS or solve some algebra problems without using a calculator. Put your mind to work and you will see a difference in your mental abilities. Number two, adopt a learning mindset. Renowned physicist Stephen Hawking once said, the greatest enemy of knowledge is not ignorance, but the illusion of knowledge. An effective strategy for overcoming this illusion is to work on developing intellectual humility. To be intellectually humble, one must be willing to admit they could have misunderstood something, consider the possibility that they could be wrong, and to continue actively learning long after their formal education has ended. Keep in mind that your IQ can rise or fall depending on how much you exercise it, such as how much you look past the surface of any subject, and how much room you give yourself to change your mind about anything, from politics to pizza toppings. Doing so paves the way for phenomenal intellectual development by fostering intellectual flexibility and an authentic enthusiasm for learning. Subscribing to a daily newsletter or newsfeed dedicated to language arts or history trivia is a great way to learn new words, English monarchs, or other small bits of information on a daily basis. However, merely absorbing the data is not enough. To keep it, you must use it. Set a daily goal for yourself, such as using your tidbit word three times that day with three different people. Number three, make smart diet choices and exercise daily. Did you know that smart food choices are not only beneficial for the body, but they can also stimulate the mind? Consuming a diet rich in the right nutrients can help you focus and retain more of what you learn. A nutrient and vitamin-rich diet can provide you with the mental and physical stamina you need to concentrate intently. This is because our minds consume a lot of energy and nutrients. Although they only account for 2% of total body weight, they use more than 20% of all calories consumed every day. The best place to start is with avocados, salmon, dark leafy greens, and nuts like almonds, walnuts, and hazelnuts. They are all high in the vitamins, antioxidants, and omega-3 fatty acids that are necessary for maintaining cognitive function and warding off memory loss. Olive oil, dark chocolate, blueberries, beetroot, turmeric, matcha green tea, and coffee are some other brain-boosting superfoods to include in your diet. Exercising has been linked to improvements in brain cell health, the development of new brain blood vessels, and the production of new brain cells. Neurogenesis, a process that boosts neurotransmitter production, takes place during intense physical activity. Dopamine is released in response to exercise, which is one reason why active people tend to experience fewer negative emotions, greater mental clarity, and increased vitality. So regular exercise has been linked to overall improved health and intelligence. In order to keep your body healthy and your mind alert, exercise is crucial. Number four, embrace your creativity. When was the last time you grabbed a pencil and drew something or created something with your hands just for fun? The majority of people will say middle school or high school unless they are professional artists 
or habitual doodlers. I'm not the creative type is an excuse that a lot of us use when we're asked to do something artsy because we learned as kids that we weren't good enough at it. It's time to reevaluate this assumption. According to design historian D.B. Dowd, the notion that artistic creation is a professional skill as opposed to a personal capacity and learning tool is a fundamental misunderstanding. Creating or modifying things with your hands not only expresses yourself, but develops your mental and cognitive abilities. Creative creation is a fundamental form of individual sense-making that improves your capacity for observation and memory, your willingness to try new things, and even your sense of humility. This not only includes traditional arts like drawing, painting, or music, but it also includes fixing or upgrading your car, house or cooking, baking or sewing. Even the most simplistic drawings or creative projects, such as a stick figure or that cool letter S that everyone used to draw in class, or building a model car, can boost intelligence. Number five, question everything and seek clarification. Another way to improve your intelligence is to practice asking questions. Curiosity and questioning are the foundations of all innovation. Questions are important because they help us expand our understanding of the world and our capacity for thought. This is why it's crucial to develop a naturally inquisitive and open mind by always having questions. It's not enough to simply ask questions. You need to ask perceptive questions that test the veracity of presumptions, dissect arguments, and venture into the unknown. Gain confidence in probing for answers and training yourself to ask questions that cut to the chase. Developing this skill requires time and effort just like any other. Keep a running list of questions that come to mind as you work, read, or participate in activities. If something is unclear, don't be reluctant to ask for clarification. Number six, untangle your mind with writing ideas down. The more effort you put into increasing your body of knowledge, the more room your mind will have to take up. If you feed your mind with useful information, it will begin to make sense of the world in a positive way. You might discover that all of a sudden you're a veritable wellspring of creativity. You will begin to have aha moments or sudden insights in which you make a connection between seemingly unrelated ideas and realize how they can be combined to form something greater and more useful. Keep these thoughts in mind by putting them in writing. Keep them where you can easily access them and keep returning to them. If you have a brilliant idea but then get sidetracked and never return to develop or refine it, you've wasted a golden opportunity. Be prepared for the fact that not every one of your novel ideas will pan out. No amount of planning or contemplation can save you from the inevitable failure or even your grandest and most brilliant ideas. Nonetheless, every once in a while, you might have an epiphany that completely alters your life. If you write it down, that opportunity will not be lost. Number seven, visit new places. Changing your routine in any way, from where you get your coffee to where you work to where you go on vacation is beneficial to your mental health. Recognizing this may be challenging in the moment because of how awkward it is likely to feel. You can't get your regular drink at the cafe. You're faced with a new menu and the challenge of deciding what to order, all of which you've probably never done before. Despite how obvious it is, routine provides a sense of security for most people. It's comforting to have a roadmap for the future. However, it also limits your opportunities for intellectual growth. One of the most striking aspects of visiting a foreign country is the abrupt change in one's perception of the natural rhythms of daily life. The brain must adapt to novel conditions by solving novel and often unfamiliar problems. Overcoming a language barrier requires the development of novel strategies for conveying wants, needs, and feelings. You can test your brain's adaptability by exposing it to novel stimuli, like unfamiliar music, cuisine, and geographical layouts. These simple yet unique activities of exploring new places will boost your intellectual abilities and increase your confidence as well. Number eight, believe in the power of daydreaming. As it turns out, not all wandering minds are lost. Despite its negative connotation, daydreaming occupies nearly half of our waking hours. Indeed, researchers argue that such impromptu modes of cognition are indicative of a robust working memory. The capacity to juggle multiple thoughts at once can even spark new insights into problems or tasks by letting them marinate in our subconscious minds. Creative incubation, improvisation, future planning, and so on are just some of the personal benefits that can accrue when we give ourselves permission to disconnect and indulge in a little wishful thinking. 
The next time you find yourself daydreaming during a meeting, try rewarding yourself instead of feeling bad about it. Number nine, challenge your habit zone. Every person has their own personal routine that they do every day without thinking. It is a familiar routine in which we know what to expect and how to react. When we're relaxed and comfortable, we're able to keep up a consistent, even pace. However, we can only perform at our best when we push ourselves to the edge of our comfort zone, a state known as optimal anxiety. Maintaining this equilibrium requires some effort. When pushed too far, our anxiety levels rise sharply, resulting in subpar performance. The key is to force yourself out of your routine and into new territory, a little bit every day. Don't let your fear of the unknown prevent you from trying something new that could help you reorient your perception of the world. Try the new dish on the menu, talk to the new person at your office, or check out a new store near your house. Finding this optimal zone will allow you to perform at your peak, boost productivity, and open up more opportunities for creating problem solving. Number 10, optimize nature's ultimate brain booster, sleep. In a culture where being busy is a badge of honor, it can be easy to forget that sleep is nature's greatest brain booster. We all know that getting a full night's rest or six to nine hours for adults is crucial to our emotional and physical well-being. This rest would be broken down into an hour and a half long sleep cycles. Each cycle includes sections where short-term memories are transferred into long-term memories, physical recovery, and rapid eye movement sleep where you dream and try to work out your problems with your subconscious. Our ability to learn, make decisions, and come up with original solutions to problems, as well as the consolidation of new memories, are all bolstered by the reorganization of synapses between neurons that occurs in the brain during good quality sleep. As a result, sleep deprivation can make us cognitively impaired, and its effects are similar to those of heavy alcohol consumption. While it's impossible to coax yourself into a deep sleep state, there are steps you can take to prepare your brain for it. White noise, putting the thermostat between 60 and 66 degrees Fahrenheit, and putting away electronic devices at least an hour before bedtime have all been shown to improve sleep quality. Exercise and proper nutrition, including supplements as needed, will also aid in proper sleep. And that is all for today's video. So what is your favorite way to increase your knowledge and to get smarter in life? Tell us in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon with the next video. Thank you so much for watching.